Okay guys, this is Darren with DBC Outdoors. It's a little late in the build for this, but I just bought this off a guy. Actually, I bought it off Stewie. Hello. But uh, we've already cut this out. I guess let me tell you what we're, what we're doing. This is a nitro buggy, and just for boredom and it's too cold outside to do much of Fiddle anything bomb. else. Dude, that's gonna look sick. It is gonna look sick, but that body's retarded. Oh, fuck off. Anyway, or watch your up. mouth. Sorry. Okay, so we've cut this out of the way. We're turning this nitro buggy into an electric. So I'm gonna try to give you some little updates as we go, a little, maybe a quick little build video, but I don't want it to be terribly long. And it, re it really is, it's not gonna be that complicated, but for everybody out there who's got just tons and tons of nitro stuff sitting around, <clears throat> as much as I used to love nitro years and years ago, Electric's the way to go for just about everything nowadays. So for people who've got, you know, nitro stuff that costs next to nothing because nobody really wants it anymore. No one knows how to work on it other than like us old guys that have been doing it for forever. <laughs> we're going to start turning some stuff into electric and bringing some new life into them. So next, uh, next step is I'm going to get this mounted down. I'm going to see if I can get my batteries mounted somewhere over here. Something like that. This motor is capable of 4S, so we're going to throw two 2S batteries in there. And I uh, just got some wheels. I found these old shocks I had laying around from an old off the buggy years and years ago. So they probably need a complete rebuild. However, I'm missing one of the front ones, so I gotta I gotta figure something out about that. I'm sure it's around here somewhere, but I have no idea where. So uh, I'll try to get some videos of when this one, of when I start building a little bracket for this. This Thank is the you. template we drew up, and basically I'm only working one-handed here, but it sits in here. Kind of like that. So it'll be screwed down there and there and here. And then we'll put the screws in up here. That way it's supported top and bottom. We'll make an adjustment. Flat it looks like that. So and then we skip ahead and this is what we've built. It's not been welded up or cut or drilled or nothing yet, but this basically. is right there so then we'll drill a hole right here for the motor to go through small screw hole we'll elongate a hole down here with the plasma cutter bolt it all together drill out these holes i'm probably going to take this template off to use it for the template to drill these holes and then i'm just going to mark these holes from underneath put that in a, on there like that Voila, one electric buggy. So just so you know what I did in here, I bent up a little tab right here just for some extra support. And actually I need to bend it in a little bit more or just use uh, some filler rod or something maybe, but um, I may clean up that, the spot where we had the plasma cut, I may clean that up just a little bit. But the rest of it we use scissors and, and a uh, uh, metal shears and um, grinder. But anybody can do this at home. You don't need plasma cutters and welders and all that stuff. I'm just using it for right there. But honestly, you could. You really don't even have to have it. After messing with this stuff, once it's all bolted down, I mean, I really don't even think we're going to need that little brace. But mm -hmm. if you have the ability to do it, you might as well go ahead and throw it in there real quick because it, it will help. But I'm just trying to eliminate flex on this plate right here. All right, we'll get some holes drilled and marked and drilled and some things welded up and we'll show you what we come up with here in just a second. possible to get so what I think is I'm gonna do that one's right where the motor's gonna be you'll never be able to get to it anyway so I'm just gonna leave it okay so this is how far we've gotten so far we got this all put together excuse me we got this all put together 
that's not the cleanest looking there but I don't have nothing else to elongate holes with I had to elongate the holes on the bottom because somehow my measurements were ever so slightly off goes on there just like that Yay. got a little brace right up in there a single hole up on top and the other two are so that you can actually swing it for different uh, pinion gears yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw the motor back in or go ahead and throw the motor in and uh, see how everything looks and if we're lucky we might have a test drive tonight I don't know what I'm gonna do without front shocks so far but just to fire it up and see if everything's working right all right guys so this is where we're at so far let you take a look at that I'm actually gonna be redoing the hardware later um, this was just kind of a test run trial phase um, we've got her meshed up I'm gonna give her over to Stu while I do Stuart's um, oh, hi. nitro buggy we're gonna build this uh, similar bracket for him on this guy a bit of a nicer buggy a good bit nicer buggy but this was just something freebie the whole idea of this particular episode is just to say you know a lot of you old school guys have a bunch of this nitro stuff laying around we between me and Stuart we've got boxes and boxes of it <laughs> and we're just trying to breathe some new life into it maybe let the kids play with it um, or you know something else to tear around the track with but uh we're going to get some electronics in here, get the front shocks done, and give this thing a run, like just a quick little test run, so you guys can see how she works. Alright guys, it's all together. Stewie's giving it a quick test run with his receiver. Let's see if I can get in there and take a look. Hit it, Stewie. Ouch! Did I get you? The tire did. Oh, sorry. Give me a little short burst there, Stewie. We don't have the steering hooked up just yet, but no steering. Looks like we need to uh, glue on some old tires. Mm. Like we say, guys, this guys, this is just one of the things that was sitting in the uh, the what to do with bin, and this is what we decided to do with it. And it looks like it's going to be a screamer. That's just three S. The system in here can take four S. Yowzas! I think we could almost just run it on three. All right, well, I'm excited to get out to the track tomorrow. It rained all day today, so it's probably going to be a little wet. So we may just get a little driveway run tomorrow. But I am quite stoked. Very happy. I might have to move that. Uh -oh, no. Yeah, we'll work with that. And we got a little bit of room to move it back a little bit. So plenty of room on these big eight scales. I say big, like we don't have fifth scales sitting over there. So uh, we'll get it all buttoned up and maybe get the steering done and maybe put around the night even. All right, guys, this should be our final segment for this little video. We went ahead and did one for Stuart and his uh, nitro buggy last night. Got it all finished up. We may be adding one more bracket right here just to make this a little more rigid. So that one's all done. We took an old body and put on mine. And I think I already showed everybody what the uh, bracket and everything looked like. So quite holy. It's uh, kind of modified to fit around everything, but... Uh, we're gonna get a new body for it later. We just wanted to get the test and tune out of the way and make sure everything was good. Need some new shocks. We got some on the way, some new tires. Should be a pretty killer buggy when it's all said and done, but give me just a minute here. We're gonna go out and give us some test runs outside. We'll try to get some of that on film, on video, and uh, let you guys see what the impressiveness was. I think the last time we had his out, we can't remember, I'll have to go look at some old videos. I think it was like 38 or 42 miles an hour was his top speed. And that thing was screaming then. And I have no doubt that with these electric motors, these things are going to just, they're, they're just going to be little baby rockets. So give us just a second. We'll get the speed gun out. We'll give his a good test and see how much more we got with the electric over the, uh, uh, over the uh, nitros. We're going to do a little bit of a speed run. Remember correctly, I can't remember what his car did last time. It was 38 or 42 on this exact same run. And we don't have much room to get it up to speed, but we're going to see what she does. Hopefully without hitting anybody too dramatic. Stewie's gonna be our pilot. I'm gonna go do mine next, but it wasn't. We didn't have a. We've never had that one running before. Uh, we switched it to nitro, so they're electric, so we have nothing to uh, compare it to. 
we're gonna run his real quick and see if we can beat it's 30 38 or 42 we can't remember i have to go back and look at one of the old videos so if we beat it by a lot then no need to look if we come close to it i may go ahead and look so let's go ahead oh, coming off to your uh that side of you okay okay hang on a second Let me switch all right Oh, uh-oh, hit the excavator. But we got 45 and he wasn't even really into it yet. That's on 4S and we got a funny sound. Forty-five and it took some tweaking to get 42 last time on Nitro. So definitely dramatic improvement and we didn't even try very hard. Let's see what he's got going on. Pinion back it off. shot your pinion down. <laughs> that's a hard hit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's because we don't have the right grub screw. Hey, at least it uh, stayed on there. Everything else is fine. That's all it was. The, the pinion backed out. Wrong grub screw. But, I mean, it did go against, you know, eight tons of excavators. So, <laughs> not bad. Let me, uh... That was like half throttle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what that thing does full. I've only got a 3S battery in mine, so we're going to see what it does real quick if someone wants to speed gun me. This thing doesn't get very good distance, right? Right. All right, BBC Outdoors is Trailside Stew. We're going to go ahead and uh, see what Darren's uh, car will do that we've got set up on 3S. So Keep in mind, it'll do 4S. So. It will do 4S, but right now we're safely running 3S. I'm going to so. try to shoot to the woods without okay. the tractor like Stewie did. Yeah. Forty. He missed the tractor this time. I think we're gonna go for one more just to be safe on this. Let's show the. Oh, there we go. So. No bueno. No bueno. All right, trail side Stu again doing what he does. We were just running up the driveway, and it looks like the on-off switch actually came out of its little holder and uh, got turned off on a stick. So. I'm going to wrap it up in here just a little bit to get out of the gears if possible. Yeah. Keep in mind, folks, we're still in the experimental stages, so nothing's really totally buttoned up and stuff yet, so. It whips that body when the tires expand. Yeah. All right, we're going to go give another speed run. All right, guys, 39. so we got 39. Keep in mind, I've got much smaller gearing than uh, Stewie's got. And this brick weighs a whole lot more. We're going to call it the Franken tank. But uh, I've basically got 60 bucks into the build thanks to Stewie and some donor parts and stuff I had left over, some parts he had left over. And between all of that, 60 bucks, it's still a lot of fun. So there you go. Like and subscribe, BBC Outdoors. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys, we had a pretty good run. The ESC has come loose. So we got to find a better mounting point for that. And I foobar to shock, but they're cheapo Traxxas shocks that really weren't designed for this big of a heavy of a buggy. So we got the parts, replace it inside, fix it back up. And I think we're going to go ahead and clean them up, take them apart and button everything up and call this project done.